throughout the night, blinding snow and bitter cold temps impacting millions from the Carolinas to New England. All of a sudden, boom, snow everywhere. More than a foot of snow piling up along parts of the heavily populated I-95 corridor, making it challenging for plows to keep up. At the storm's peak, the white stuff falling a rate of up to two inches an hour. Central New Jersey hit the hardest with over 15 inches. If you have any option not to go out, stay home. The safest thing to do tonight is stay home. Around D.C., icy roads sent this car spinning out of control. The Washington Monument barely visible by the snowfall as around six inches covered our nation's capital. The heavy snow putting federal offices under a two-hour delay and causing the president to scale back his schedule. In Massachusetts, blizzard-like conditions blanketing eastern Massachusetts with up to 12 inches of snow. Governors in several states declaring states of emergency. This morning, school districts in Philadelphia, Washington, D.C., and Boston closing their doors while New York City opting to remain open. Some kids using their snow day to turn the steps of the Philadelphia Art Museum into a sledding frenzy. But the dangerously cold temperatures continue to fall fast. I got double layers on today. Much of the East Coast 25 degrees below normal through this weekend. Wind chill factors will be dragging temperatures into the negative teens. These are extremely dangerous conditions. In Chicago, officials are using tugboats to break up the ice, covering 60% of the Great Lakes. And the frigid cold isn't going away anytime soon. At least five states are forecast to stay below freezing through the end of the month.